moving right along. Uh, our action discussion items. Um, so, I had brought this up at our last board meeting that I wanted to talk about this with the board. Um, in discussions with our construction team, uh, which I've been pretty heavily involved in the last month and a half, getting ready to get these kids back to school and see how our progress is going and everything else. One of the, one of the points that they have brought up to me and, and they felt that was something that they'd like to address with the board were um, these blower tests that have been being done by HF Labs. Um, and, and I've discussed this with PJ Dick and, and uh, you know, you as the board. Um, and we feel that there is a very little value done, uh, being placed on the blower tests that are being done pre-finish of, of construction. The ones that are being done you know, while the rooms are still no drywall, no, no caulking in the windows, uh, plastics being put up. Um, so I, I would just like to see if we could get um, HF Lens to agree to simply quit doing those tests during construction phase and, and come in and do the testing at, at the end of uh, our, our architect saying, hey, the room's complete, the, the space is complete, it's, it's, uh, it's, it's ready for testing. I, I believe that the $2,500 or so per test that we're, that we're spending plus the time we lose in the testing is, uh, would be money well saved and time well, well saved as well. So I, I would like to get you know, a motion to approve us to at least open up that HF Lens contract and, and take a look. Sheldon, could you <clears throat> add some additional commentary around what the implications are for remediating any issues that the testing could reveal? Yes. And then could you also talk about uh, a bit of the dynamics of having the lens folks on site and what that means for kind of the, the tone during the construction? Absolutely. Thank you for asking me this question, Julie, because that is something we should talk about. So, so we, sorry, so we would still have them present and on site, yes. and evaluating, you know, it, watching and overseeing the construction. Right. I think we all agree that there's a value. To there's it. yeah, I, I agree. And there's no lost time in that. Right. Um, he simply oversees what the contractors are doing, and in line with the energy efficiency. Correct. And and, and you know. Some of the stuff he does on his walk around, mm -hmm. actually, they pay attention to, and they're maybe more uh, aware of doing a good job as a result of somebody looking over them. Um, and, 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 and truly, based on our contract with our architects and our, our prime contractors, if there is a deficiency and the test is conducted, and at the end, <coughs> it doesn't meet the requirements that have been placed upon them, then the rooms. Would have to, the correction would have to be made at their expense. So uh, I believe that there's really no risk here and it's all upside. Uh, so I, I just truly believe, based on their recommendations, that uh, you know, the, the blower testing is inaccurate and that's putting it mildly during the construction phase. Uh, and, and truly, the real number is what do you get at the end? It's not what we expect, and if there are deficiencies in the construction, okay, they're responsible for correcting them. So, what's the what's the estimated number of tests? What do you think? Well, the way it's segmented, uh, it's, it's segmented to uh, to be done in you know, various ways because they can't they can't isolate rooms small enough to be able to do it. So, I I, I anticipate there could be. 20 to 30 more of these tests conducted prior to prior to construction. About $2,500 on average. Correct. Yeah. So. Okay. Yeah. So, so I'd like to get a motion to approve us re-examining the HF lens contract and asking to have the blower test while construction is being done. Okay. 
So moved. Thank Mr. Kramer, seconded by Mr. Poor. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? So moved.